Hey YouTube, love and light, the Empress is in the building. Welcome to the Empire. Thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I'm going to be doing a quick energy read for the sign of Scorpio. Um, this is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs it. Um, if this does resonate for you, I just ask that you hit like, share, and subscribe to join our spiritual tribe and help the channel grow. I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy off the space and we can go ahead and get started. Last but not least, my champion is Scorpio. Y'all know my mama's a Scorpio, so she's always the last but not the least. That's my favorite girl. So, um, Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, I ask that you protect me as I go into the white light of the tarot. Give me clear and honest messages for my Scorpios today. Anything that is of you, light and love. Anything that is not of you, I ask that you return to sender tenfold. Thank you, Spirit. And I ask that you protect my Scorpios as they receive this message. Amen, amen, amen. What's going on, Scorpio? What's going on? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. We I, Look, y'all. I've been having some interesting stuff come up in my readings tonight. But you know what? It's a good. It's good. Look, somebody uh, spiritual and astral traveling. You know what? It's been good. Somebody is in a crown chakra. Oh, I love it. I've been giving y'all a little extra because y'all my last one. Somebody is um, embracing their soul tribe. They connecting with their soul tribe. Oh, wow. I love that. Astral travel, soul tribe. Somebody is highly spiritual. Somebody's a wounded warrior, though. Been through a lot in life. Very guarded. Persevere through a lot. Have a lot of courage. Mm, but pushing forward. Then I'm going back with whatever you've been going on through uh, with life. But, you know, I guess what? Somebody watching you. You got somebody in your energy that is watching you, wants to reach out to you. Oh, this could be your um, spiritual partner. Your um, divine masculine or feminine. What's going on? Somebody you got unconditional love with. Oh, wow. So you're in separation with someone. It could be a queen of earth. Oh, wow. Somebody that is abundant, a businesswoman, a boss, very mature. Could be the mother of your child. Somebody who's successful and financially stable. Okay. Let's see what we got. Scorpio, what's going on? Oh, somebody got a side piece. Somebody been cheating. Disloyal. Non-committal. We got a side piece in energy. Who is her? Who is her? <laughs> somebody been having an affair. Mm, mm -mm. Somebody spending late nights out, drifting, very... Uh, Dissing in the home, very cold, keeping secrets, playing games. Who playing? Who playing? Oh, somebody got a real unhealthy ego, living in 3D. Oh, very judgmental, have a street mentality, very linear thinking, playing victim, very materialistic, very bad, have low vibrational, very toxic. Oh, who is this? Scorpio. Oh, is this the queen of earth or is this you? got a queen of earth here queen of pentacles is this queen of pentacles the 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 the, the side piece the 3d who, who who is it let's go oh okay with well, this is a good uh, okay mm -hmm. somebody want to talk somebody throat chakra is open somebody want to communicate somebody want to understand and somebody want to speak up somebody want to bring you some truth Ooh, somebody you in separation with what is going on Tell me, Scorpio, what is happening here? Okay. Somebody trying to manifest you back. You're definitely in separation. But I see you focused and grounded. Focus on um, developing your skills, being diligent about your goals. Look. And then, look, here we go. We got the page one. Somebody is very immature. Mm-hmm. But you are focused on, um, you you know, you inspire, focus on, you got some creative ideas you're trying to put in place. Um, you you got a sense of freedom from this situation. You, you've you been very unhappy in this situation, I'm feeling, whoever this is. Okay, because you don't walk the way. 
in this eight of cups energy you don't you don't found out what was behind this moon some secrets okay you know you was very emotional about this but you know you walked away walking away from things that no longer was serving you mm -hmm. but somebody want to communicate they want to talk i bet you do hmm they see you as wish fulfillment but you headed towards your wish fulfillment you are your wishes are going to come true yeah, you can completely content without this person in this 3D energy and this side piece. Go ahead and have your side piece, sir and or ma'am. Mm -hmm. You are very emotionally stable. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead with your side piece. Tell me about this side piece. Who is she? Oh, this emperor. Got a side piece. This could be the father of your children. This could be some. This is somebody who is uh, very respected in the community. You know, a leader, very stable, um, you know, very powerful, authority figure. Figure. This person is very controlling. Usually, very dis disciplined and focused and practical. But, um, oh wow, this person got somebody got a side piece. I don't know if this is you in this emperor energy, or in this queen of earth. Is the side uh, uh, in this three D. Energy, I don't know, but let's see what it say. Let's see, let's see. Scorpio, what is going on? Oh my god. Oh, so we got the eight of uh pentacles in reverse. What is going on? Mm. They uh, no passion, uninspired. Somebody is uninspired, no passion. This emperor is uninspired, you know in the situation that they are in so they have a side piece oh my god hmm mm -mm -mm. they are perfectionists they self-develop you know they are a boss in their own right they have come up on their own but they are feeling very uninspired in the situation that they in. they don't have no passion no motivation no drive whoever they with in this family situation is not bringing them emotional fulfillment they are looking for emotional fulfillment this uh oh lord have mercy oh jesus so they might be in a situation that gives them um you know uh, this queen of pentacles might be giving them <laughs> um uh, financial stability and all that it might be financially stable but this side piece could be the emotional fulfillment let me y'all come on now oh it's some juicy it's been juicy tonight and everybody look y'all look so look he been player energy he done got him a side piece because he is unfulfilled in his home Yes, he's a leader, a visionary entrepreneur. He is a boss. He been overcoming challenges in his home. Oh wow, very career focused. He did he mm 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 mm. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of obstacles. Yeah, in this connection. So we got a side piece and a queen of earth. Oh lord, oh lord. Mm mm mm. A side piece and a queen. I, I see a side piece and a queen of earth. <laughs> The mother of the children and a, a girl on the side. These two different women here. Oh, oh, how is this? I am supposed to have fun. He said he ain't having no fun. This ain't even in supposed to be in my deck. But you know what? Uh, look, I know that it's important to work hard and play even harder. So he said he ain't having no fun in the house. So the mother of the children is not giving him no fun. This supposed to be here. He ain't having no fun. It's too much. It's too structured. They, they, you know, it's all about the money in this house. You know, it's no emotional fulfillment for him. So he done got him a side piece. Okay, Emperor, I see you. Look, look. Okay. Mm, let's see what's going on. Oh, wow. I'm going to keep that card out there because it belongs here. So, so, you know, somebody want to communicate. Oh, wow. Scorpio, what y'all got going on? Something, mm. Ooh, we got the Ace of Wands in reverse. The Ace of Wands, delays, lack of motivation, lack of energy, lack of passion. Ain't no, oh, he feel way down. He bored as hell. This lady, oh, lady man ain't, they ain't having no sex. They sex boring. <laughs> ain't no passion in the bedroom. They not having no fun. Um, This person, oh, wow. So they got a side piece. Oh, wow. He feel way down. He juggling life, money. You know what I mean? 
we got the two of pentacles here he juggling priorities you know trying to you know tr juggle the, the family and the side piece you know mm -mm -mm. Ooh -wee. Oh, very very low vibrational energy here you know just leave if you ain't happy just leave he adapting to whatever this is because of stability. He is, you know, you know, maybe he's been with this person for a long time. You know, maybe feel obligated to stay. Maybe have children involved. Who knows? But he definitely in this toxic, you know, energy, developing these bad habits because he's emotionally unfulfilled and wants to communicate with that. But maybe this person that he's with is has an unhealthy ego, maybe narcissistic. So he look a man like um I'm the magician trying to manifest. Using the willpower to stay in this connection. This person want to leave. This person want to take action towards this side piece. Look how happy this person is with this side piece. You know, and look how smug and this person is, this queen of earth. Look how she, look arrogant thing. Look, mm, you know, mm. Little cocky thing. And, and you know, I'm not judging nobody, but, and I don't think this right. Ooh, he trying to have the willpower to stay in this connection. He want to manifest his dreams, you know, or he or her, uh, you know, gender and tarot. I, I need to quit saying that because I'll be looking at the cards. But, you know, you have all the tools to manifest your hopes and desires. If it's not what you have in, just go on, on, on. Let both of them go on, on, on. Y'all heard what I said. I said go on, on, on. Let this person go on, on, on and let the other person, you know, and you go on, on, on. Let everybody be happy. You know, this is destructive. You know, but what I see is, so maybe you the side piece, <laughs> or maybe you the queen of earth, but whoever you are, I see the ace of pentacles here for you. You got abundance, you manifesting all your hopes and dreams, right? You got all the tools you need to manifest your hopes, dreams, and desires. You're very self-confident. You're very powerful. You got a lot of skills, very creative. You got new financial opportunities coming towards you. Maybe a job, a business, a promotion. Hmm. A financial windfall, prosperity. Hmm. New venture. Hmm. Oh wow. This is this is a lot. Ooh -wee. Oh, I did not expect this. I tell you, these cars be doing something else. Oh, look at here. This person want to be single. You out here looking single, though. They see you out here looking single, abundant, reaping the fruits of your labor. You know, you done got a divine gift, you know, for this person put you in this unhealthy situation because they definitely put you in an unhealthy situation. Or maybe you knew about it, but who knows? But it says it's player energy here. You know, this person is lacking motivation here. Or maybe you the queen of earth. And maybe this person got a side chick on you. And maybe this person has not communicated that to you. And maybe, you know, they want to communicate it with you. But huh, who knows? Or maybe you, this emperor energy that feels trapped in this situation, feel like you can't communicate with this person. And maybe you want to... Or maybe you in separation with this person, or want to separate and be and be single. But maybe you feel trapped. Maybe this person has something on you, will not let you get out, and you want to go towards this third per, third party. You know, maybe you have a luxurious lifestyle with this person, and they don't want to let you out because they don't want to give up this luxurious lifestyle. But I see you at some point being single, sexy, and free. But hey. It's a player here. This Knight of Wands here, you know. But I feel like you're full of energy, very passionate, 
inspired, you know, action oriented, and you want adventure. You're fearless. You know, you're very impulsive here. So, you know, you just want to be free. You know, you want to be free to do whatever you want to do. And maybe somebody is not allowing you to move on. Maybe this person does not want you to, doesn't want you to leave. I don't know. This is crazy. Maybe this person does not want to let you out of this situation. Maybe you have asked. Maybe you have communicated this to this person. Look. Uh, so we got the Six of Pentacles here. Equal give and take. So we got Aries here. What we got? Ooh, we got Virgo here. We got Fire. We got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have, yeah. We got Fire here heavily. We got Capricorn here. Oh. <sighs> We have, I will be forgetting some of these, Virgo, Gemini, we definitely got Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, oh wow, wow, that's a lot of passion here, but it's like somebody wants equal give and take, somebody's not pulling their weight, you know, somebody's doing all the work and nobody's giving. You know, somebody's feeling like they're getting breadcrumb inside of a situation in a marriage. You know, like like somebody's in a higher level commitment and somebody is like has an unhealthy, you know, like this linear thinking. Very bad habits, very low vibration, very toxic. You know, maybe threaten you if you leave. You know, I'm going to do this. You know, but, you know, but I see <clears throat> the Ace of Cups here. You have new love, new romance, you know, new beginning coming. Just use your intuition, you know, a new proposal, new marriage, you know, you know. Oh, wow. Uh, but you definitely receive um, truth and clarity about a situation. I see you walking away, you know, you making a head over heart decision, you know. And going towards your wish fulfillment. You know, some, something else makes you happy. And that's what you are working towards. And you are driven to succeed. Hmm. It's going to be ending here. So I see a death and a rebirth. So it's definitely going to be ending here for somebody. Oh, wow. Yeah, so somebody is all up in the head about this. Somebody thinking negative thoughts, putting themselves in a self-imposed prison. It's like, you know, whoever this is, whoever you are, it's like you keeping yourself stuck and bound in this connection. You know, you entrapping yourself. You're going to have to have the strength and courage to remove yourself from this situation because you see this person as um, your wish fulfillment. This is a person that's loving and nurturing. This person comes to beast in you, but you got somebody that is very toxic in your energy and you got to make a decision. You know, you, uh, yeah, you got to make a decision on where you trying to be. Yeah. <clears throat> or is this going to be a missed opportunity for you? You know that this is your gift, but you know what? Maybe, again, this queen of earth, you chose this person because you, you know, financial stability or whatever. But you know that this other person is your wish fulfillment. You're bored. You are not happy in the situation, whoever you are. And you're just trying to find an outlet, you know, because you see this other person as your earth angel. And you want to go towards that person because they bring serenity, peace, happiness, you know, harmony. You know, and you want to go towards that person because you've been enlightened. And this is the secret. Hmm. You need to use your intuition in this situation. Hmm. Your inner knowledge. 
Trust yourself. Trust yourself. We got it's some secrets here in this high priestess energy and this moon. That's the secret. But I bet you this queen of earth know that you want to leave. And whoever this other person is, is who you want to be victorious with. So, hmm. yeah. Yeah, and maybe this queen of earth is staying with you because you provide, you know, public recognition. You know, they sitting on their high horse. Yeah, but it's a lot of deception here. Cheating, lying, deception, betrayal. But somebody is strategically trying to leave this situation. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is heavy. This is heavy. I did not expect this. This is my first. Okay, but there it go. The Ten of Pentacles in a connection. You know, this got a lot to do with family. Yep. Ten of Pentacles. Wealth, financial security, family, long-term success. You know. So, you're trying to make a choice between two. But you know this other person is your soulmate. Yeah. This person is somebody that you um, have alignment with y'all share equal values um this is a lot of passion um yeah it's a very deep love connection here right so yeah you definitely need to make a choice here and yeah this is this was heavy let me go ahead and get some angel cards i'm gonna use these now oh that was a lot Mm. Yep, but this person is definitely whoever this other person is. Okay, we have, oh, and look, we got all these nines. You need to come to a conclude, conclusion and make a decision. Look at this, 999, nine, nine. 24 might be um, significant. Oh, 42. Ooh, it says, I am generous, 24. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be uh, the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. Look. The protector provider, you know, nurturer, you know, the, the emperor is usually a, a, a very stern person, but they are a father figure. They are a protector provider, um, very family oriented, not very emotional, but they definitely provide. So I really believe this is this masculine energy here that's trying to leave a situation and feeling trapped. It's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you're being of service. I am compassionate. Mm. And maybe this person is compassionate, just does not show it, you know. Um. Hmm. I am courageous. It's time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life um, that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. Yeah, very powerful person, um, but really not standing in it. If you are staying in a situation that you are unfulfilled with, you are in this mental prison, you know, and you have the opportunity to go towards where your heart is desired 
you know, to bring balance in your life. You're going to miss an opportunity, so you definitely need to make a choice. This is a divinely guided connection here, and you are not taking advantage of that opportunity. So um, I suggest you do some introspection here and really um, lean on your spirit guides um, to get you towards your victory and success if that's what it is that you want um because one thing i will tell you is if you if you are the one that's living in this 3d unhealthy ego um or if you are the one that's got the side piece or you know in this third party situation knowingly um everybody gotta read what they sow right and even though you're not here to just work and you're supposed to have fun, um, right is right is wrong or wrong. And karma don't miss nobody. Okay? That's what I have for you, Scorpio. If this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, love and light.